Hi, welcome to the Sheep Turner Marie podcast. My name is Kelly, and it is August eighteenth, uh, nineteenth, two thousand fourteen, Cincinnati, Ohio, and uh, it's Monday. It's actually Monday evening, and. I made a list today so I don't get <laughs> incredibly off track. Um, all right. Sorry about that. Um, so, made a list. Yay! Um, oh, tough week. Tough week. Tough week, America. Um, Man, tough, very tough, um, tough, how poignant of me, um, one of the big tough things coming up is on Friday, my oldest son is moving away. And not just like moving into a different town in the area or anything like that. He's moving states and states and states away. And I'm going to miss him a lot. Because he's a good kid. Well, my kids are good kids, but I like them. I like being around them. Um, uh, Quite a few of you are just now having kids that are getting on school buses and having their first days of school and stuff like that, and you're all weepy. It's nothing. Nothing compared to this. When you've raised great kids and then they move and you don't get to see them anymore, that's the hard part. That's the really hard part. Putting them on a bus and they're going to be gone for three hours? Nothing. Nothing. Putting them on a bus and they're going to be back in eight hours? Nothing. Um, raising them and they turn into great people and then they pack up all their stuff and they move states and states and states away and you don't even know if you're going to see them at Thanksgiving or at Christmas. It's tough. That's tough. Um, so, get ready. Get ready for the really tough stuff. Because it's coming. It's coming. You have like another 20 years, but it's coming. And it's going to be tough. What you're going through right now is not tough. This is tough. This is tough. I'm having serious, serious emptiness syndrome right now. Serious. Like, maybe I need to go adopt another dog. <laughs> um, I'm actually very calm compared to how I was, like, over the past few days. Um, I really like my kids, and I don't want them to leave, because they're my kids. Um, let's see, what else? Oh! What did I do all week? What did I do all weekend? I finally got all of the gradient mini skeins skeined up. Be right back. Check it, fools. Got some purples. Because I know you people love the purple. Some nice neutral, neutral neutrals for, you know, neutral people. And some fantastic, oh, that does not pick up the color well at all. That's a shame. Because this is like a really awesome blue. Why can't you pick this up? and figure it out. 
So, after I got all these together, it just won't happen. This is not the color blue at all. It's so lovely. Diggity dang. No, it won't show it. Oh. Anyway, so then got these all boxed up. Got these all ready. Took a lot of pictures. Then um, went in. Did all the database stuff and so the store is technically ready what we're waiting on now is I want people to be able to do more than just pay with PayPal I want people to be able to pay with credit cards and I know a lot of people um, don't want to put their credit cards on their PayPal account they want to keep things kind of separate and I can appreciate that so I want to make it so if you want to pay with PayPal, you can pay with PayPal. If you want to pay with a credit card, pay with a credit card and it'll never be attached to your PayPal account. So um, my husband's going to be setting that up and he said that it's going to take a few days. Hopefully by Thursday. That's my hope. Um, I don't want to give him too much leeway because then he takes a whole lot of leeway. Um, I think it's kind of obvious by now. Um, but that's all that we're waiting on for that at this moment. Okay. Um, let's see. Actual knitting content. <laughs> this is a little pathetic. So this is my actual knitting content. I'm making a uh, thing for, you know, your earbuds, and then the long thing that gets all wrapped up. I'm just gonna shove that long thing in here. That's what she said. And um, that's it. That's my actual knitting content because. I've been skating yarn and see my big boy McCoy. Um, so one of the dumber things about having an electronic skate winder is that there's a yardage meter on it and I have all the fun of sitting in a chair and watching the numbers click by until it gets to the correct number that I need. <laughs> now what I want, because I kind of feel spoiled by being able to have this, but now I want more. Um, what I want now is a way to be able to say, okay, this is the amount of yardage that I want wound off on there. I'm gonna start this, and then it's automatically going to start up after the yardage has gone to whatever number. Just stop right there. Because, man. Alright, I mean, just back in June, I was doing all of the um, scanning by hand on a nitty knotty off of just a regular wooden umbrella winder. And it just released misery onto my shoulders and I was in an awful lot of pain. And now, oh, look, I have this that can wind things off for me instead. And it's like, oh, I went from just total, I don't know, misery to complete elation. And now I'm back to, well, we can fix this. Or I can't, but somebody out there has to be gifted enough to be able to figure out how to do something like that. It is not me. It is not me. But somebody, say the manufacturer that uh, made the um, winder behind me, could go, oh, I wonder how I could figure out how to do that. 
and oh I have a solution and oh here would you like to buy this and I will be like yes I would like to buy that because it's a pain to sit there and just watch these numbers click by you cannot do anything else except sit there I would be a terrible factory worker terrible absolutely the worst factory worker in the world because I daydream I just I can't sit and just watch something loop 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 it's also why I actually don't watch a whole lot of podcasts because after a while I'm like I've been sitting here too long I've got to go do other things I can't can't be here anymore I'm sorry I love you bye bye uh, <laughs> and I don't think I'm that crazy but then it turns out I am that crazy I am just like done I'm done I'm done for the day I'm done I gotta get up I gotta do something I I don't know how I was such a well-behaved child when I was in school because nowadays I just if you told me I had to sit in a chair for half an hour and I couldn't get up I would be down in the office. <laughs> I would rebel constantly. I don't know what happened in my brain chemistry, but seriously, it's just like. <sighs> so basically, what I'm saying is it's really hard work to sit in a chair and watch numbers click by. How pathetic is that? It's kind of totally pathetic, but it's also honest. Um, so yes, the store will be opening up this week and I will make an announcement in my group on Ravelry. And if you're not in the group, you should definitely go join the group, especially if you're watching this. Um, you should already kind of be there. And I always think it's weird when people are like, oh, I have too many groups. Well, you don't have to read every group every day. Nobody's putting that onus on you. Just join the group and every once in a while you can be like, hmm, I wonder what somebody's up to. And then you go click on the group and voila, there's your answer. You, that's all. It's not that hard. You're not obligated to read every single thread in every single group. That's insanity as far as I'm concerned. Um, but where was I going with that? Oh, yes. So I'll make the announcement in the group and I'll probably say something on Instagram. I might even open up my uh, Sheep Dreamer in Twitter account and say something there. But yes, I am, I am a motivated seller. I am ready to get these out to people and <laughs> get them sold. I'm ready for you to take them. Um, I love them all, but I'm ready for them to go. I'm just staring at them over there. I've got a big old bucket of them. Um, oh, I still have to make labels for everything. I need a pen to remind myself because I don't have a pen. All right. Um, so, yes, store opening soon. All right. What's up next? Ooh, another grifter. <laughs> this might just be like my pet peeve for all times. Um, because as all of you know, my store is closed. My store is closed because I felt that I could not provide the service that I would want provided to me And until I could do that, I was not going to have my store open. I do not think if somebody is selling something, they should then wait six months to mail that out to somebody and say that they got overwhelmed. Um, it's a nice excuse, but I don't buy it. If you get overwhelmed, stop sales, wait until you catch up. And really, that should only take two weeks maximum and then you open your store again. You don't take money from people unless you have the product 
ready to go. I feel really, really strongly about that. So, um, <laughs> when I read about these clubs and then the owners die or they come down with, you know, some debilitating disease, um, and let me tell you, there are legitimate, blah, 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 legitimate people out there who do have this kind of stuff going on. And you know what they do? They close their stores. And they say, I can't handle it. I'm sorry. This is all I have left to sell. And then that's it. Then they're done. Other people just keep saying, oh, I need time. I need time. I need time. No, if you're offering a product to somebody, then it should be available right away. That's your time. Unless there's like a major snafu, and then you should be on the ball apologizing for it and finding a way to make it up to people. I just... I just don't get that. Um, so... Man, the yarn world, the fiber world is full of liars and thieves. <laughs> I'm doing my best not to be one. Um, so, where do I hear most of my grifter stories? Um, on Facebook, there's a group for Lazy, Stooped, and Godless. And people there are on the ball. They're always talking about it. So... That's a group you can join. You have to be a member of LSG on Ravelry, and then, um, then you can join the Facebook group, I think. But it's a really good group for keeping track of people who constantly lie. Um, it's kind of um, kind of comforting in a way when you are like. Mm, this person doesn't really check out to me and you don't want to say anything but then somebody else will come in and they will be like this is the worst person ever and you're like yes I knew it I knew that was the worst person ever and it just it warms my little heart a little bit um, makes me a little happy to know that somebody I thought was shady is actually shady <laughs> I like to think the best of people, but man, a lot of people show their worst all the time. Um, okay, so what else? Oh, here's the craziest thing I saw. Somebody made a full-length jacket, a, a duster, a full-length jacket with long sleeves. Long sleeve. Okay. People, she made a duster, a long sleeve, down to her ankles, jacket, out of sugar and cream cotton. Sugar and cream cotton. Who does this? I guess maybe she was on a budget and thought that was going to be a great idea, but... She hasn't blocked it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> That's going to be some interesting, interesting blocking going on there. A full length jacket made out of sugar and cream cotton. That's crazy. And she needs like a knitting best friend who could have said, Slow your roll. Slow your roll. Let's just buy some, you know, Peruvian wool from Knit Picks and go from there. Let's just do that instead. Yeah. It's almost the same amount of money. Ooh. Crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. Um, so that was like the craziest thing. Oh, and uh, Westy's Thylater's pattern is out on Ravel right now. Or it should be. Um, oh, man. I have a big old zit on my neck still. I shouldn't have looked. Ugh. 
Um, will I ever knit a pair of shorts for myself that highlight my non-thigh gap? <laughs> No. Um, okay. And last thing. My friend Mary designed a shawl and she is having a contest on her website and it is at lanafactrix.blogspot.com and I'm going to spell, well actually here I'll do lanafactrix blogspot.com. Yes. She wants somebody to name her shawl design for her and she is giving away a skein of Volmiza and it's really pretty. And I already put in my entry for the contest. So now it's up to the rest of you to join in and possibly take my glory from me. Um, okay. So I will just show this once again because I'm not giving it away this week. I'm going to give it away next Monday. This is the Namaste little pouch, the Megan pouchlet, and this is an eggplant colorway. And as you can see, it has like a little loopy fobby thing here and then zips open loop loop it's about slightly bigger than my hand just slightly um so I'm giving this away because as many of you know I'm not a fan of purple and this was in a goodie bag I received when I went to the Stephen and Stephen tour. So that is it for me for this week. Um, oh, how do you win this? You go and you join. If you are not already a member, my Sheep Dreamery group on Ravelry, you must be a member. If you're not a member, I'm not going to include your name. Um, and I will keep it for last week's episode. Go into the thread for last week's episode and just jot down what your favorite shade of purple is and you will be included in the drawing when I do the drawing next week. And then I have something even bigger to give away after I give this away. You're going to want it. You're going to want it. Some people are going to want this. Some people are going to want this. But I know other people are definitely going to want the thing I'm going to give away next. Um, so join the group and tell your friends. And I hope you all have a lovely week. And I hope our city doesn't... Not city, country. What am I even talking about? I'm just rambling now. I'm just rambling about all my worries. Um, nobody needs to hear that. Except maybe a therapist, but uh, that's another ramble. So I hope you all have a great week, and I will see you next Monday. Bye-bye.